So what's up guys, Zach and Tack here, and today we are playing Fun with Regals, the game. So this game came out about uh, maybe two months ago now, and I've been wanting to play it and make a video on it, since I have like many ideas but I haven't seen anybody do. So like I just installed it like two or three days ago, and we're going to make a video. So like first off, let's just look at the tutorial, because I haven't seen this one. I wonder, are you okay? Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to teach you how to play from here. So, hello, I'm Dummy Danny. You can call me Danny, I'm not dumb, just your lucky dummy buddy. You may be asking, I know the, the point, point of this to make game? videos. Let's start with some basics movement. A baby's first steps, literally, to exploring the great world ahead of them. Just press any of the buttons on screen mm -hmm. to move while using the mouse to look. Good job. Now you can only go so far without jumping. Something so guys, suck I at have doing. Played this press game the button to the jump a million well. meters in the air. That was pitiful. But you know how to jump. Okay, so let's go. You're better than you were before by about two meters. Next up, there's a beautiful little button that puts you into something called ragdoll mode. Okay. It's kind of important that was a for a game jump. like this. Go ahead and press it. You'll see what it does. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! And you're not impressed. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Right. That was a little this bit too much. Because you didn't have enough oomph to it. Try knocking yourself around a few times with that new ragdoll button. There. <laughs> the voices in this game are so good. Do you notice anything specifically with a glowing sparkly <laughs> thing that appears yes, whenever this you place respond? Right Before here. you say anything, no, you're not a vampire. Last guy thought that actually was and ended up burning into a crisp. They don't sparkle in the moonlight. Whoever sold you that pickle sticks was lying. <laughs> Did Hotel Transylvania teach you guys anything? That's interesting. Oh, Yesterday sorry. I was watching I, Hotel Transylvania. I can't help it. I have this uh, unhealthy addiction to speaking facts. Now, moving forward with what? my addiction, you can set your spawn point by pressing the button on screen. So T... Nice job there. My name is Zach. Great. You'll respawn there from now on. Next up, let me tell you about a pretty important feature of the game. There's something called build mode. While in build mode, everything resets back to the way it was. You'll be using it quite a bit. Give it a okay. shot. You can tell you're in build mode by the red icon so, at the top right of the screen. Little, As the name suggests, you typically build in build mode. Okay, Let's so try we're it. going to build. We're going to place our first box. So yeah, this game is reminiscent of like Minecraft kinda. I played the last Fun with Rag Dolls. And that was Fun with Rag Dolls 1.4. Yeah, I think so. And yeah, this one is very different. There's physics even. That's so cool. But we're not going to use physics right now. We're going to use no physics. And we're going to make our block black. To select an item, press the... Uh, oh, okay. Well, I see you've already done that. Alrighty then. I'm sure you can figure out the next step without me even mentioning it. No, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I won't stop you. Okay. Oh, you're not dumb. You are smart. Let's see if you can figure out how to remove it. Oh, and I see you know how to remove items as well. Look at you. You've grown up so fast. It's just like not too long ago, you were just a little baby. Just learning how to move around. And now? A man! I'm proud of you. I'd give you a trophy, but I'm paralyzed <clears throat> everywhere. So, just give me a little five or something. We'll, call well, it's about to be much worse. Okay, I'm gonna give him a low five. Call it a day. <laughs> ah! No, that, that wasn't a low five. That was, that was pain. That was mean and painful. You know what? The last time you were here, there was an important bit of information I tried to tell you, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, just for that physical abuse you just put me through, I'm not going to tell you what it was. 
Instead, I'm going to tell you about this cool Easter egg that's in the game. It's really cool because when you find Whoa, it... what happened? Well, according to Dummy Danny, there was there is an Easter egg in the game. But we're not going to be doing that in this video. In this video, we're going to be doing an idea that I had, right? So, I've seen uh, other people making videos on like worlds that they've made. And I want to make my own, but mine will be special. So I want to make like a resemblance. If you guys have uh, watched uh, some of my videos, uh, I made a video like not too long ago where I played Roblox, uh, Zombie Rush, and you had to like get rid of zombies before they overrun you, right? So I was thinking about making that, but we'll revamp it a little bit. So first off, let's get some zombies. So they're going to be green. So we'll make the zombies green because that's the color I immediately think of. I don't know why. Maybe because green is a sickly color. So they'll be attackers. And to make them all the more like zombies, I'll make them slow. And you cannot touch them. So select that item. Okay. So let's go place them down. Okay, so that's our first zombie. And... Oh, okay, they're facing this one. Okay, not that big a deal. So... The way this will work is we'll place a bunch of zombies right here, all over the place, right? And so then the zombies will then chase us. But instead of chasing us, we'll have to take them down. So I'll make a fortress too. So we're just going to place a bunch of zombies. I hope my computer can take this. Let's go ahead and place them in like kind of almost like a circle shape. So speaking of zombies, I uh, just finished reading a book called Dread Nation, and like in this book, it's like an, um, about the American Revolution, not Revolution, the Civil War, and like in this book, instead of like Abraham Lincoln winning the battle and ultimately dying, the dead start to rise from the ground, right? So like they're ruining everybody, and they call them champers. <coughs> and so yeah, I think it's a pretty interesting uh, read. So, if you want to read it, it's called Dread Nation by, I believe, Jasmine Ireland. So, yeah, I think, yeah, it's pretty similar to this. Okay, so, so you can also fly. So, we're going to make a castle for ourselves. So, let's get some walls. So, our castle, of course needs to have a moat maybe no not a moat needs to have uh what's it called like turrets those places where like you can shoot from them yeah so we're going to make okay well actually maybe we should make these bigger so we're making our castle so our castle is going to have to be pretty big to keep out the shamblers. So I'm going to make it like this size. In fact, should I? I'll give other blocks colors since I don't want this to be too much. So yeah, and also with this new update, you can also change the ground. So I'm gonna change that to be green because like grass and stuff and then i change the sun i mean the sky to be blessed yeah, i think it's good wow man is that a hard color on the eyes okay right. so now whoops okay so we just go this side and yeah, and build the wall, so this wall is going to be like maybe four wall blocks high, 
so that we can then make sure that it is tall enough to keep out the zombies. So yeah, I'll also be putting a turrets on the top and maybe like little shooting holes in the windows to get rid of them. And speaking of turrets, um, there is also, uh, the cannons are different in this version of the game. The cannons have, what's, the cannons have been like revamped, like there is now one with missiles, uh, the cannons can be humongous, because in this update you can change the scale of things. And so, I will be using the, that to my advantage in this video. So, let's continue building the wall. The wall is done, and I'm just about to get started on the turrets. So for the turrets, I have the idea that like we'll take some stairs up here and then have cannons sitting here. I mean, a cannon sitting here and here. So, but before we get to that, let's first like make uh, this more presentable as a castle. It must be fit for a king. So, uh, let's just place these blocks around. Fit, put a roof on this thing since we cannot have a castle with no roof. My my cots are going to get 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 soiled. Okay. So let's just put that there. So I also had an idea from my little brother who was in the piggy book two video. You guys can go check that out in the corner. But uh, he gave me an idea to make an attack on Titan world so uh, you guys can be expecting that uh, soon depending on when I get to it but yeah you guys can expect me to be making an attack on Titan world I haven't seen anybody do this before I mean I haven't checked as for right now while I'm recording this video but I do think it's a good idea so we're going to try it out. Okay, let's just let's see if we can go a little bit faster with this. No, I don't want too much build collisions. I do have build collisions turned off so that I have more versatility when building because I don't want those limits of like I can't put a block in another block. But it does sometimes get uh, kind of annoying because then. Uh, certain blocks will be super super glitchy and then it won't be fun and just all around will not look good so we're going to try and make sure that that does not happen too much so let's continue okay so almost done with the roof And guys, the roof is done. So now we can get started on the, the stairs. So for the stairs, we'll be, we'll have to think about how we go about this since the stairs have to be small enough that they can fit in there, but large enough for me to walk up. So let's, wait, uh, still trying to get the hang of this game. Not that I haven't played it before, but it's just, yeah, sometimes a little bit difficult. Okay. And we turn it. So I want to have like a spiral staircase kind of look. So then we go up here. So this is a pretty good method to give your stairs more depth, to put them inside of each other, I mean. So, and then we go this way. So, let's just get the stairs going. Um, hmm. I don't know if this is functional or not. It, it, it seems to be working. So, we're going to go along with it. We, okay. So let's see, okay. 
Oke, okay, ini kita kita as nah. So then we have to go here. So let's see again. Okay, wait. Okay. And then we we'll go up here. And then this is like a parkour and of and and of itself. Like dude, this part this part is a little bit tricky. Okay. Let's start flying so I have more maneuverability. Okay. Then we to oh no. Okay, let's get back. So as you can see, my computer is already struggling. So okay, let me place this here. Um, okay. So, although there's a few, there's one thing that is a little bit vexing about the update, which is the fact that the building had gotten a little bit harder, but it just needs some practice, so it's not that big. Okay. And then, here. No. And okay, there. So and we have ourselves some stairs. So okay, so now let's put down our missiles. So for our missiles, I mean our cannons, kind of just gonna leave, leave it away there, but We'll be using the new uh, missiles. I mean, the new man, the new cannons. So the cannons are, of course, going to be black, and they're going to be shooting missiles. Well, actually, no. Should they be shooting missiles? No, they'll be shooting mines. I think that's a better idea. Okay, and the mines will detonate on touch, and their power. I mean, the power will be not too much. And I'll... So how do I put it manually so that I should... Um... Okay, no. I think that's what I need. Okay. So let's select the item. So, gotta turn it right. In fact, actually, let's shrink this, since this camera is too big. Okay. And we'll raise it up a second. Don't need, want build collisions if I can avoid them. No. Okay. There we go. And I'll have them sitting here too. Oh wait, that reminds me, I forgot to put, like, you know those things on, like, castles and stuff that are, like, thin? Okay, wait, actually, I think I'll use bolts for this. They're, like, they're, like, little towers that are at the top that, like, fringe the top of a tower. I mean, of a castle. So. Wait, let's shrink this. Let's shrink it, make it smaller. No, not breakable. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Okay, I think. No. I guess the only way. No. So let's just delete that. A little bit lower. No, that's not good either. Okay. 
I think that's it. Okay, so that's what we want. So, what's the space between these two? I don't know. I'll just eyeball it. So, put it there. Put it there. Put it there. What? Okay. Um, there. No. Okay. Because we need this to look like a proper castle. No. Okay. Good. So we'll just go along this line until we have a castle. So. And. Okay. This a little bit uh, taxing, but I will do it because it would make our castle look better. Okay, let's see how much better it looks. Eh, not too much better, but it does look better. Okay. So now we'll put a door, and we'll see how we fend against. The horde outside our doorstep. Okay. Let me just fill in that hole since we don't need extra holes. Make it smaller, so I can get in. Okay. okay, just try to patch my hole. And we are done. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for that. Yes. Thank you for that flower. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so we are going to test our luck against the horde of zombies waiting on our doorstep. And yeah, so let's just and I say and wait 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 and action oh no there are zombies coming towards our pl our base we must protect it I wish not to be turned into a zombie myself we must not dod dawdle in our base, but we must go and fight. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, there's an issue here. Okay. Cut. I hear voices outside. What is this? A horde of zombies coming towards me. Whatever shall I do? It's over 9,000! We can hear- I can hear their voices of DEATH! And destruction! They're coming super fast! We have to do something quick! We must get on the terrace! I mean on the turrets to fight the zombies! Okay, let's go! Okay, we are almost there. Okay, we made it. We must enter the turret to save our family. I mean, our 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 our, our camp our our house. So, oh lord, um, I don't know. Spam it. Okay, I put the turret wrongly. Cut again. Okay, we must fight them. Die, scum. Not sure if I'm hitting them. 
We must fight them off. Ah, oh, yes. No. Only he's left. I think there's one inside. Oh, Lord. Gotta make it down there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We must escape. He's coming! No! No! So guys, in the end, we turn into one of the dead. And now we walk with them now. So, everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please- Shut up! I said shut up! Okay, so you guys, if you enjoyed the video, please please remember to hit subscribe and like the video and catch you guys in a graveyard because I'm dead. Peace.